I wanted to talk about Liverpool just because like it's been a pretty good season. It's going towards like a really good uh, I don't know it's a, I would say it's a really good start in all competitions that too. Mm-hmm. There are a lot of stats which will tell you that this is a title winning start and uh, like I haven't seen a new manager come in and do this well. Nihal have you seen this quick from a results point of view? I think the last manager that comes to my mind is uh, Pellegrini. with city like with no expectations came in and like actually succeeded i think in the first season itself mm-hmm. right so yeah i mean like if they can repeat that success i think abinav will be ecstatic on the moon will start will have he will split his screen saver with like 20 titles i'm sure <laughs> <laughs> so, like, um, no, but uh, abinav go into it a little bit like tactically mm-hmm. in a quick way why do you think it's been this good do you think uh, if Klopp would have been here right now. It would have been the same starters. Is it just a new manager bounce, or he's done something different? I wouldn't say it's a new manager bounce as such because bounces last for like what five games or maybe less than ten games. I think it's we've been through like at least fifteen games right now, and I think we've seen that whatever is happening is not a flash in the pan. It's something which is kind of. it is a pattern right and it it's happening by design not by chance and i mean i was skeptical i was skeptical uh, even before the international break when we played these lesser oppositions and we were you know in some games we were suspect and all of that but the fact that slot can adapt to these oppositions and then devise his game plans right and, and be dynamic about it right so i think i think that's basically what's kind of giving me more and more confidence that this is something which can actually turn out into a very good season for us yes the biggest and the most the biggest test for us will be still be arsenal this sunday we'll see how we go we'll, you know arsenal's kind of facing their own issues right now but think that that is still a litmus test for us as to where we are right now but i think so far so good it's still october it's still a long way to go city are not falling back uh, arsenal are still there so we will see how it goes yeah. but uh, coming back to anish lord would you say that i am right in saying that he is just added gears basically just like to to the to the machine to like the chaos he's just added a little bit of calm yeah. and like a little bit of he, gear uh. exactly and i think see if you look at the the top left the xg considered right in in terms of hmm. how how good we are defensively and i think that is something which never happened with klopp i mean maybe one or two seasons out of his seven or seven seasons here i mean i was looking at the chelsea match right chelsea match the last 10 minutes i never thought we were going to concede the, the way we were playing because we were just holding on to the 2-0 to 1 lead a narrow lead against a good opposition who's been attacking so much i never thought we would concede the entire match was dealt in a very calm smooth way and we are not playing those risky passes we are not being this you know we are not running after each and every ball and opening up at the back and we are being very we're controlling the games very much uh, we are making sure we only play the right passes we are looking at the risk reward aspect of it and so i think yeah, that's basically so yeah this is one of the first things he he came and said right like liverpool players take a lot of risks and i just wanted to make sure that mm-hmm. the pass is correct exactly and i think yeah. that's basically what he has observed i mean the one of the first things you need to correct in this team and i think again you can take risks as long as you kind of convert your chances but i think that's one of the things which klopp was not able to do klopp's team was not able to do last season i think we were missing so many chances and all of that and i think all of and again you were considering the first goal in may, way too many matches in the in those seasons we were always starting from a goal behind so all of these things kind of eventually cost us in the end i think that's the first thing he corrected because if you look at it right now we have we considered three goals which is basically the same number of red cards arsenal have <laughs> So, and I think if you just kind of still see that, I mean, three goals, seven games, and till the fact that we are not considering more chances or high xG chances, uh, and we're still kind of right up there. I think that shows a lot yeah. in terms of how much we've improved. Coming on to things which interest Nehal a little bit more, you know, when a rival. <laughs> clubs have these like insanely important players and they don't sign contracts it just hits different right yeah it does but unfortunately i think liverpool are so professional with their with everything that it reminds me of the real madrid with their aging players i think they're just going to give them one year contracts and these guys will accept it except for trent which i think trent might leave because he doesn't feel as important or maybe things could can change i feel like he was a lot more expansive there was a lot more uh, his flair part of the game was coming on when he was playing with you know club and you can't blame him if he wants to go to real madrid or anywhere else right like there's nothing to prove and i think liverpool will be happy to let him move on i think <laughs> the people who run liverpool are like they use their brain a lot smart more. people yeah uh, so that would be a um, yeah, i don't think, think he will be for? happy i'm sorry like, go i don't ahead. i don't think anyone will be happy but like you know you guys will replace him in a heartbeat you guys replace yeah, him i mean it 
would be an academy <laughs> player well used but if he, if he goes for free then of course not like that's not going to be ideal at all so his <laughs> contract ends next year right this he's, he's into 25. his final year yeah. yes Ouch. he's into his final year i mean so is van dyke so is sal and i think that's the situation right i think this is basically with everything that's happening in in the background with the backroom staff changing with klopp leaving and everything i think there are a lot of problems immediately for liverpool to solve right away and they had to focus on the biggest one which was klopp replacing klopp so they, that's the reason why they were not able to figure out these mm. contract issues and everything and if you mm. look at the three players leaving in sala van dyke and trent they are literally at the backbone of the team right and i think van dyke mm. is very close to signing a contract i mean yeah. of, of the three people van dyke was the most likely to kind of extend his contract given he's the captain of the team and he's also on the wrong side of the, of the mm. 30s and all of that and i think sala is still 50-50 but i do agree with sai that you know trent he has a very good reason to leave trent is one I wouldn't yeah and and I, and I wouldn't have hold any grudge for him right now because it's he has won everything he has he's been the captain of the club for a bit and he has something he is there's nothing else for for him to prove at the club right now and right. the fact that the manager with whom he he knew he knew one manager in Liverpool and that's Klopp and he left mm. and his contract is ending and it's his one big chance to make that step abroad and then experience a different yeah. football different yeah. culture his, and all of that his best friend also plays there a lot of good things his, happening in madrid his best friend um, plays there carvajal's <laughs> carvajal's leg is broken he's not going to be there at yeah. all they they have they don't have a right back yeah. everything is yeah, just yeah, kind yeah. of it's aligning perfect. for trying you can just everything go is there aligning. except for that stuff sentiment if he has if he has anything in yeah. that and then he wants to be the captain of the I club mean, like foolishly like sure. gerard then maybe okay um, um <laughs> but yeah. just going to uh, finish the segment with uh, asking one question abana if there are none of these players have signed a contract and you just have the ability to choose one who's that choose one player to sign a contract or only mm-hmm. one out of these three one one signs and two go trent mm. trent okay uh nehal as a rival who where do you think these players are going to end up van dijk <laughs> I have also seen reports that he might resign so I think Van Dijk stays Sala I personally want him to leave because he's like he's so many goal scoring records he's going to break uh, so but I, unfortunately there's no destination for Sala like I think Real Madrid is stacked Barcelona can't afford him PSG is like washed completely Saudi would be a step down so he might just stay on for another season mm-hmm. and see his options Trent is definitely leaving to Real Madrid I think there's no other club for Trent it's just Real Madrid that's it yeah. Trent is leaving Real Madrid. Okay, heard it here first. Neil, what are your thoughts? Uh, what do I, you think? I, gen- I mean, I'm like it's 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 fairly obvious right now what's going to happen. But I still think uh, I'm close to thinking that all three renew their contracts. But if I have to place um, my bets, I definitely do think I have a feeling that Liverpool are going to try really hard to keep Trent, and they won't as much to keep Salah. I'm I'm more into the thinking that Salah leaves for for Saudi. It's a very strong case. Uh, Liverpool go all out to keep Trent. Virgil is staying. Virgil mm-hmm. is staying. So that's that's my thoughts. But even the fact of losing Salah, man, I think I I don't know. I think three of them the most. critical clue, crucial players I mean you really can't pick yeah so lies the talent at least I, I would uh, if Trent's really leaving I really at least ho- I hope at least he signs a two year extension and then just leaves next year gets us at least like 70 60 whatever that is that not is. because like, why would he why would he play with his own uh, contracts I, I bro <laughs> <laughs> Wishful thinking. That's it. No, honestly, I feel like you can replace um, you can replace Trent, but with with this young squad, everything happening, I think Salah and Virgil are a little bit more beneficial right now to have. But I hope all three leave. To be very honest. <laughs> 